Hi guys, Dave here and in this video I just want to show you a little bit of an overview of the backup uh, body plugin WordPress plugin and as you can see right now it's installed and I'm inside the getting started page and basically what you get in here is it's just everything you need to know about how to use this plugin as you can see it shows you how to perform a backup it shows you how to do restoring and migrating if you need any help or anything you just click here and it goes to the forum and you can get any question you you have solved right there and down here as you can see it's the version history so just to show you it's it, it's about every week or so there's a new version coming out with and uh, you see a new features and uh, bugs fixes and all that kind of stuff so it's it's continually being uh, supported and upgraded and updated so you can be sure that it's always going to be the best it can be. And uh, next thing you got to do is the backup and restore. And as you can see right here, you can do a database backup only. You can do a full backup, and as you can see, it just shows you exactly what each one means in this little pop-up box that shows up. And you can also restore and migrate and it shows you right here the database are the backup archives pretty simple pretty easy if you want to create a full backup just click on full backup you want to do a database you just click on a database and next thing is the malware scan which you get for free with this back with this plugin as you can see right here just, just perform the scan so I'll just do it again it's gonna go and scan your site and as you can see my site is clean and also blacklisting is also clean nothing is blacklisted on my site that's good next thing is the server info there are a few requirements in order to use uh, backup uh, body on your on on, wor on your site so but from what I know most if not all uh, hosting providers give you everything you need as you can see right now everything is green this one is a little yellow I guess I'll check that out a little later the next feature is the scheduling feature as you can see I have two schedules one is a daily database backup and a weekly full backup shows you the last run shows you the first run and also as you can see right here both backups are being sent to my S3 Amazon S3 account so they're not taking any space on my hosting account and the full backups can be pretty big mine is about 1.5 gigabytes for every backup so I prefer to be on Amazon S3 than to just keep on pining up on my on my hosting account and the last thing you can do is set up the settings you can get emails for every time you get a backup ready you can also be emailed when every time there's a failure so you just enter the email here and you got all kind of options right here which you can use and as you can see right here this is the remote destinations and backup body supports Amazon S3 it also supports Dropbox which is pretty awesome it's a new feature and I'm probably going to use this as along with Amazon S3 and also Rackspace Cloud Cloud Files FTP and email email I don't know email is good probably for the database because that's smaller files I don't think you can send the full backup files to your email but Amazon S3 and Dropbox that's what I recommend you use and that's it basically it's pretty simple to use pretty simple to set up and once you get it ready once you get the scheduling ready you really don't have to do anything and backup buddy will keep on backing up your WordPress files everything including the themes plugins widgets all the settings everything is backed up and in case something goes wrong you need to you know you need to get it you need to restore something you just click on the restore and you're gonna get all the information you need on how to go along doing that and that's it basically thanks guys